Guys, so it's a hot day in Cali and I want to be inside because my uh, white skin is not accustomed to the sun. Um, but I'm here at the Museo La Tetrulia, which I'm not pronouncing correctly, but it's the main art museum here in Cali. And I've always been a fan of modern contemporary art, so we're gonna explore it. Uh, hopefully take some videos and get it out to you guys and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Pacific regions of, and I'm probably gonna mess this up, but, uh, oh, there it is. Choco, Valle de Coco, which is where Cali is. Cacao y Nariño, también. Um, these are actually uh, parts of the state, except for Valle de Coco, that has no access to the mainland. The only way you can really get there is by boat or by uh, airplane. And so there's a lot of people who, are cut off from the mainland. It would be like, it's like the equivalent of Alaska, right? Um, but people don't have the ability um, to travel freely to and from the mainland. Like they can if they buy the tickets, but like you either get there by boat or you get there by plane. And a lot of these artists don't really get a chance to show off their work. Um, and I, I think that's really cool that they have like the space dedicated to them. And it's a large like indigenous and Afro-Latino population. And it actually makes me want to go there. Um, but yeah, we're going to go check some of that art out.
guys. We're out here at the, um, for lack of a better, I don't know what it's actually called, La Novias de El Gato. And uh, it's a little uh, monument place here in Cali, and it's got a lot of cat sculptures, but it's something that people come and check out, so we're going to check it out. Let's go. guys so i'm standing right now in front of the uh iglesia san antonio literally the san antonio church and while it is truly amazing uh right now they're closed so i can't go inside it does not beat this view of cali
so if you come to Cali and you're like me and a tourist, you're probably gonna end up staying in the neighborhood of San Antonio. Um, I personally am in El Pinon, which is the neighbor adjacent to it, but it is, uh, <laughs> It's a nice little neighborhood with a lot of restaurants, shops, bars, uh, I think I already said restaurants, but it's very beautiful and the architecture is kind of the old colonial style. So we're going to check some of that out today too, uh, as well as some of the parks that are around here and things to do.